Assalamualaikum and good evening everyone. Um, yep. uh, welcome to our free online lesson. So for today's lesson, this is the topic which uh, we are going to uh, go through, which is all about the tool palettes in AutoCAD. Okay, so anything regarding the tool palettes, uh, I will try to teach and mention uh, in this uh, free online lesson. But first of all, um, my name is Nur Farah Dila. You guys can call me Farah. And this is my uh, email address, nurfarah at acadsystems.com. Uh, if you have any details, uh, questions regarding this lesson or uh, any issue regarding your software, AutoCAD software or any software or any Autodesk software, you can just drop your issues into this uh, email and I will try to uh, respond. Okay, I am one of the technical team uh, in ACAD Systems Number Height, uh, special, specialized in design and manufacturing, DNM. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So this is the lesson agendas for today's uh, free online lesson. So first of all, we are going to go through about the basic of tool palettes. Uh, so the basic of tool palettes is, um, uh, what is tool palettes? Uh, what tool palettes can help in um, in drawing? And then uh, next, we're going to go through the modifying tool palettes. Uh, so here, um, we can uh, know how to make your tool palettes custom. Uh, you can know how to custom your tool palettes. And then uh, when you make a customized uh, palette, that means you can organize your tools in the tool palette itself. So that is what we're going to learn in organizing the tools. All right, so last topic, the last topic that we will go through for today, today's free online lesson is the sharing palettes. Okay. Okay, okay in basic, basic of, tool palettes, I am sure that uh, anyone who use AutoCAD know what is tool palettes. Um, basically, tool palettes can store and share pretty much everything, including block and hatches, content tools like the uh, training materials, and then uh, can store and share AutoCAD commands, and also images. So for your information, uh, palettes, tools uh, introduced around 2004. So it is not too long ago or too new to us. So uh, some of us not know about two palettes. They, they, they just know about how to use the, uh, the, the tools in the palettes, just, just like that. But actually you can do much more uh, with the two palettes. Right. Next, after we go through the basic, uh, two basic two palettes, uh, we will go through the modifying two palettes. So here, uh, we want to know how to make new palette, and then uh, of course, if you make new palettes, uh, you have to give the name to the palettes, and of course, you can rename the palette. Okay. Uh, after done with modifying, we will start uh, with organize two palette. So the, uh, in organizing tool palettes, we can know how to add text, add separator in order to organize the tools in your tool palettes. All right, and the last one is sharing palettes. Uh, that means how to import and export the palettes itself. All right, so without further, without further ado, we will continue um, with our AutoCAD software. All right. Mm. We'll share, and this is my AutoCAD software screen. So this is the screen. Okay. You can see the room layout here. Basically it has a room, a server room, and it has furniture here. There are some blocks and uh, yeah, the, the dimension. Okay, the most basic things in uh, doing the tools palettes is on how to how to open the tool palette itself. So to open the tool palettes, uh, just type in TP, 
Just type in TP for two pallets. And now the two pallets uh, in default option. So just click enter. Just press enter. So this is the two pallets that I mentioned. So it pretty much um, the these are all the default tools inside the two pallets. And these are the pallets that has, has created. Uh, it's basically the library inside the AutoCAD. It has constraint, annotation, architectural, mechanical, electrical, right? Civil. So how to use that? You just have to click and then drag. Uh, I will try other. I will try other tools. So let's see. I want to use these uh, vehicles. So you just click and then drag your tools inside the drawing area and just place it at your desired place. Let's say I want to put it here. So this, that is how to use the two palettes. That is the normal way people use it. Okay. But actually, uh, in the two palette itself, um, this, is not, this is not the complete palette that you have. You also have the... If you right click here, if you click the bottom of the palettes, of all of the palettes, click, and these are all the palette listed. So there are more from what you see here, right? So the two palettes here, you can move it by clicking this space. Just click and drag to uh, wherever you want to put the, you want to put the two palettes. So let's say you want to put it here or here, or another uh, method is by clicking this space, uh, by right-clicking this space. And then um, uh, make sure you allow docking here. If you're not uh, allow docking like this, uh, I disable the allow docking and then right-click again. See the anchor left and anchor right is disabled. So what I want to do is I want to make the two palettes stick to the right or stick to the left. So I, ha I have to uh, allow docking. And I choose anchor left. So it will now um, stick to the left side of the AutoCAD screen. So if you move your cursor uh, onto it, so now the two palettes will appear. All right. Same for anchor right, anchor right. So it will go to the right. Right. Okay. Uh, if you want to, if you don't want, if you don't want the two palette to stick uh, at the side of your screen, you just have to drag it back to the center. Yep, that is how you control the two palettes. Okay. Um, and then about resize, you can actually resize these two palettes by move your cursor at the edge of the palettes like this. Okay, and then just drag. So that is how you resize the two palette. Uh, okay, now you can see if I move uh, my cursor, uh, like I don't use the two palettes. So the two palettes will disappear. It is because I on auto hide. So to close auto hide, uh, you can click here. Just click here. So uh, whenever you don't use the two palettes, it will still there. Or the option, if you right click, at this space will be here, auto hide. Same for the size and move and close. Everything is here. Tool palettes also has transparency that you can uh, set. Okay, like for example, uh, like this, I put transparency and it will pop up like this. So for now, uh, it is 100% opacity, uh, solid. I want to make it uh, a little bit transparent so I just have to drag it until like for example 40% of uh, opacity so it will uh, it will be a little bit uh, clear and then press ok so the function of uh, make the two palettes transparent is if you put the two palettes onto the uh, onto the drawing you can still see the drawing uh, behind the you can still see the drawing behind the like this, you can see the car behind the two palettes. And uh, but if you move your cursor onto the two palettes, 
like this, uh, it will become opaque again. So for now, I will set the transparency to 100% solid first. Then okay. Right, so that is basically the basic of uh, tool palettes. All right, uh, next we, we're going to enter the topic of modifying tool palette, which on uh, modifying, that means we want to make custom palettes. So if you right click here and then go to new palette, click new palette, and uh, you can name the palette. So let's say I want to make a palette for any drawing or block that I frequently use. So I just type in the name is frequent. Frequent, then enter. So now the palette name is frequent. So anything uh, drawing or block or any, or any uh, drawing that you will use, you will always use uh, for like, for example, for this project, uh, you, you will always use this, this certain uh, block or drawing, you just set all the, the the drawing and block inside this palette. So you don't have to find to other, uh, to other place. So let's say um, this chest with three seat, uh, table chest with two seat and this bidet, I want to put inside the frequent because I will always use in this project, for example. So uh, to, to add the drawing inside the two palette, you just have to select it like this, and then drag onto the onto the two palette. And if you see the plus symbol, that means you can add the the drawing inside the two palettes. So you just like that. Okay. Now this is the default or the original name of the tools. So you can actually rename it by uh, right clicking, and then go to rename. So let's say I want to rename it as sofa with three seats. Yeah. Sofa with three seats. And then enter. And then uh, I will do the same for this table. Uh, this chair. Go here. Right. And the BD. Okay. Select and then drag. So that is how we use, that is how we add the drawing inside the two palettes. Okay. Um, actually we're not, it's not just for blog, like I, like I mentioned before, it, it is pretty much everything. So let's say I want to put this, uh, Polyline, polyline, okay, this polyline. Okay. I will all I will always use polyline in this project. So I and by using these uh, properties, but different uh, different shape. So same, just select and then drag inside it. So now polyline will appear. And if you want to use, you just have to click and then uh, and then just draw like usual. So let's see like this. So this polyline have the same properties like before. If you if you save the polyline inside the two palettes, it will not become the same. Uh, it will not become the same the same shape because it is not a block. It is a polyline. So it will just have the same properties only. All right. And then um, it, like I mentioned before, it will, it will also, we can also add image inside it. Um, for example, image from, you just have to open your file and then let's say I want to put this image inside this uh, two palette. Same, just click and then drag like that. And you can always choose, uh, you can always use it. 
And these are uh, like the connecting radiators, solar collectors, solar heating system. These are all the drawing uh, from, I, I take from the, the website that provide free, uh, free blog. So now I want to take this external file and put it inside the tool palette. So just click, choose like, let's say I choose three of them and then drag. Like that. Wait a moment. So we come like. All right. So these are all the things that I that I have add inside the two palettes. Okay. Um. So in this uh tool palette, we can actually custom its view by clicking right click here and then go to view option and it will pop up like this so you have three options to make the view whether so for now is list view you can you also have icon with text and icon only let's say i choose icon only and then okay so now in this palette they will show it will show icon only okay view option and then this view so this is the normal normal view that people use all right um okay as i move my cursor onto the tools you can see the name so far three seats and below it the design center home space planner example so that is the description of these tools we can change the description by going to the properties of it so you just have to right click then go to properties here you can pretty much change everything so i will change the description to insert channel into drawing Insert channel into drawing. And okay. Now, when I move my cursor onto these tools, it will appear the new description insert channel into drawing. Right. Okay. Like I said before, it can, we can add pretty much everything inside the two palettes. Uh, let's say I will, in this project, I will always use the up with uh, start, center, end, this one, start, center, end. So every time I want to use, I have to go to the home tab ribbon and then drop down this up menu and then choose start, center, end, while I don't want to use others. So actually we can put this, uh, features inside the tool palettes that we frequently use. You just have to right click and go to customize command. Right. If you custom, uh, if you click customize command, it will appear like this. And these are the list of features that you can use. So let's say, so let's um, find the arc with start center and so this is the zip. Up, start, center. This one, start, center, end. Same. I just click and then drag. Right. Okay. And now you can cross. Right. So for so modify the two palettes already done. And now we can go. Go to the organizing two palettes. These are all the tools inside the palettes, but it's it's not uh, organized. So, what I mean organized is like this, for example. Um, the it's not the constraint like like this one, for example. Uh, in the annot uh, annotation palette, we have separation of imperial samples, mat matrix samples, uh, like this. So to do that, just go to, to our frequent palette. Let's see for this block, so far three seat, um, table and so far two seat, I want to, I will always use it 
for my project to put it inside a room one. I can name it, go to add text and room one, enter. And for the toilet, I will always use it at the room two. Same at text, room two. Okay, enter. You can also add separator, like the line here. See? And you can arrange these tools by just uh, click and then drag like this. Okay. Same for the name, you just uh, click and then uh, change the place. Okay. Right. Okay. In these two pilots, let's say I already done with a polyline, I will not use this polyline frequently for the next project. So we can delete the, these tools inside the two pilots. Just right click and then delete. Okay. So the, the polyline will disappear inside this frequent palette. Okay. Um, all right. We're done with basic, done with modified, done with organized. And the last one is uh, share tool palettes, share palette. Okay. If you want to share your palette, you just have to right click and go to customize palette. It will pop up like this, customize. We have palettes and palette groups. So palettes is the all the palettes created inside the two palettes. For the palette groups, it's actually the palettes for certain groups. Like you work for you work for specific teams or specific companies. You can actually group your palette into uh, one name and give it a name like a company name or team name. Okay, to share the palette, you just have to choose. Let's say choose the modify and then right click go to export or import so this is this is the way to share your palette it's very simple just choose export or import for palette groups it is quite complicated compared to palettes only uh, but it it has the same method click and right click and go to export or import but the details will become uh, more complicated and I will try to make, make it a new topic in upcoming uh, free online lesson. So, yep, that is pretty much about, about the sharing two palettes and close. So the, that is um, about two palettes. If you guys and if you guys have any question, you just you can just uh, drop the question in the chat box. Uh, but if you want to rewatch this video, you can go to our website here. Website of here. Go to our website of. Packet system dot com enter. So these are this is the this is our website. This is a little bit of description about our company, which uh, which we are the Autodesk Go partner, which we are not just sell resell the product but we also provide excellent customer support and also premium authorized training center if you scroll down a bit more uh, you will see the latest autodesk promotion and news scroll down a bit uh, you can see our contact number from kl and penang and this is the free online lesson 
the upcoming free online lesson and this is for today's free online lesson if you want to join uh, interested to join in any of this topic you just have to click the topic and then click going here later we will we will send a reminder email to you guys all right from the same at the same page you just go uh, down a bit more and you will see our media social uh, our social media um, including Facebook, YouTube, and email. Like I said before, uh, if you want to rewatch this video, you just have to click this YouTube YouTube icon there, and it will straight away brings you to this uh, our YouTube channel, which is Akat Systems Number Behind. Go to videos, and these are all the recorded videos, the recorded uh, free online lesson videos. All right. Um, we also uploaded some uh, tutorial videos inside this channel. Okay, but uh, if you have go here, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and click the bell button to receive the notification uh, when we upload the new video. All right, uh, that's all about this topic. If you don't have any question, I will just stop here. Thank you so much and stay safe. Bye-bye.